Hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be creating um, half of this um, onboarding screen with SwiftUI and by the end of this mini series we are going to be creating this three step onboarding screen. It's going to take our user from step one to step two and then into our main app. So today we are going to start putting the foundations together. Um, I've already started my um, project, I've got it onboarding with SwiftUI. And I've got in my assets um, a couple of colours that we're going to use and three images that we are going to use. So we're going to dive in and first we are going to create a state and this is going to be used um, later on um, in the series but we're going to set it right now and we're going to call this step one I'm just going to close this off and bring this out so we have more room as we can see what we're going to design here anyway Okay, so first things first, I'm going to create a Z stack. And basically, this is going to hold our first layer, which is going to be our background. So I'm going to say color dot. I'll just, I'm not going to actually add that. And then I'm going to say dark. I forgot what it's called, so let's go back to our assets going to be using this dark shade okay and we're gonna say edges edges ignore and we're gonna say dot all and that is pretty much it for our background Now, I'm going to do something that isn't actually on here. So, what we're going to do is, we can actually had, have two backgrounds on here. If we say rectangle, um, and we say dot fill, And now we give this a color, and our color is going to be um, let's go over this one and copy that, come back over and paste that in here, and resume this. And we're going to continue to start filling out this so. We want to have a scale effect on here. Um, of 1.4. And what we are trying to create is like um, a rectangle that's kind of glaring off to the side. So it's not covering our background. We want it to kind of come over and come down. So like that, so it gives us an effect of having two back two backgrounds. And now we're going to rotate this. Rotation effects. And we're going to set up degrees. And we're going to say about minus 15. And we're going to see where that puts us when this loads. As you can see, it has actually started to tilt on these sides here which is good and now we're just going to give this an offset and we're going to use this one and we're going to say minus 100 about negative 100 and again negative um oh i'm just do apologize 300 there we go to bring this down to see what we're actually going for and that looks pretty neat and then obviously um, 
we'll go ahead and create the next couple of steps but I don't I don't really want to use that but just to show you guys what it's gonna look like we're gonna use some spacing here of about 30 drop this down and we're gonna say text here and we're gonna write our first line a welcome oh. to and we're gonna get this a front and that large title color and this is actually going to be one of our colors again and let's go and have a look to see the different kind of whites we got we got this one and this one is kind of like a, a creamish so I'm going to use this light shade unless we want white text we could have just said that white but I guess of using all the colors we can use that and we're going to give this some padding and we're going to say dot top just like that so I'm going to just bring this in here to sort of some space and resume this now that looks okay now I'm going to add our second piece of text and this is going to obviously say swift UI and we again are going to have a font of um, dot large title and I'm going to add some boldness on here so I'm just going to say dot bold and close this off before the ex Xcode starts yelling and again give this some colour Color. and I'm going to again use the light shade in here I just bring all this down so it doesn't look messy so that is pretty much what we're working with right now and I am going to get rid of this because I'm not a fan of adding that second bit of colour in here, I like this how it is and for sake of not letting this overrun I am going to call this a day on here and I will see you guys in the next stage of building our onboard screen with Swift UI. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like and comment um, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a new subscriber, hey, I just want to say hello and ask you how you are doing. And I hope you all have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.